Once you insert your sample into the SEM, you should navigate to a point you want to analyze using the top right image. Now we can see that the image still isn't great. So we're going to do an auto brightness and contrast, which is the second button on the left side, so that we can see some of the grains. We still want to improve the image though using other two buttons above and below that button. So the one below it with the oval is the focus. And right now it has an A on it because it's autofocus. You can also change it to manual focus by holding down the left button on the mouse. The button at the top with the magnifying glass is the zoom in and out button. So if you select that and then use the middle scroll on the mouse, you can zoom in and out. And especially on this one, you could zoom in to see more features, get much closer up than this picture. You should keep adjusting these different things until your image looks good. And so here, going back to the brightness contrast button, have changed it to manual, and we're changing the contrast so that the image looks better, and also so you can see textures better. This is the little fine scroll mouse that you can rotate back and forth. Is another way to adjust these things. To save your backscatter electron image, simply go to the camera icon on the left side of the screen and click it. This will save the image in the storage computer, which is to the left of this computer.